if this is the report your company wants, and they told you to make sure to sort it by date, then this is likely what they meant. But then one of the executives comes to you and says, no, 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 we like to see the most recent date first. The most recent date in 2006 is December. So it's real easy to change the report, sorting properties, so that it goes from Z to A instead of A to Z for the booking month. As soon as you do that, some executives inform you they like the A to Z sort. Since the tablet's properties only has one sorting area, do you have to create two different reports to make everybody happy? You can actually enable interactive sorting where the person who's viewing the report can click right here and change the report's sorting by that field. We're going to start off by making sure that this report is sorted by category first and then booking month second. So let's go back to design view, click in the table, and right click anywhere in this gray area and get the tablix properties. We'll go to sorting. And we're going to add category. And we're going to add booking month. And say OK. Now when we click preview, we see it's sorted A to Z by category and then A to Z by booking month, which doesn't make any sense. April, August, December. Look, it's A, B, C, D by the alphabetical sorting of the month name, which has nothing to do with its chronology. So how do we sort the booking month by the booking number? In other words, April is 4, August is 8, December is 12, February is 2, January is 1. Well, let's go back to design view. Let's get our tablets properties. Let's go to sorting. And let's say the secondary sort is not by the booking month name, but by the booking number. And click OK. Click Preview. And now we see a chronological sort. To get the category column sorted the way we wanted, we did an A to Z sort on the category field. To get the booking month to appear the way we wanted, we chose to sort that on the month number rather than on the booking month name. But we still haven't given the user the ability to sort in whatever way they want to see this report. Let's start off by making the category sort interactively. Go back to design view, and this time we're not going to use the tablix property. We're actually going to go to the row header, right click, and get the text box properties. Select the page for interactive sorting, and enable interactive sorting on the category field. Click OK, and now let's preview. Notice we have an A to Z sort where overnight stay is last, long-term stay is first, but every time we click this, we can go Z to A or A to Z and back and forth. Let's sort the booking month by the booking number interactively. Go to design view, right-click the row header, get its text box properties, choose interactive sorting, enable it, for the month number. Click OK. And click Preview. Now we can dynamically sort the booking month based on the booking number.